So one thing we need to do is mark top dead center of the uh, number one piston on the timing gear. Uh, the to set the the uh, ignition timing, we actually set that off the flywheel using the transmission case, which we can't use in this case. So we're going to uh, punch where it is all here on the um, on the timing gear. And so all you do is you stick a, a dial indicator on here, and you you cycle it through. And you're going to bring it up, and you can see it's going up, going up, going up, and then it stops, and then it goes back down. Okay, so we want to we want to stop it right where where right where it stops. So go up, 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 and stop. So we're going to stop right there. We're going to check. And we're going to center punch uh, basically where, where one of these teeth are so that we know that that's top dead center. And I can't find my center punch, so I'll do this off camera. Okay, next step is to stick our cylinder head on our engine with our new head gasket. Uh, then we're going to set the cam on there, check uh, the valve. Uh, valve lash, make sure that's okay. I tend to like to do it when the cylinder head's on the car because it's just easier to, to hold everything. So we take gasket, stick it on head, get it all lined up, kind of make sure that you know all the holes you expect to, to come through are, are, are visible, that you're not blocking any, any oil holes you didn't think of um, or you didn't uh, forget about something. Take your cylinder head, Give it one last inspection. Make sure it's all good. We're going to place it on top of our block. In doing so, I moved the head gasket. There's no dowel pins on this in, uh, cylinder head, which is a little uh, peculiar and a little annoying. Usually, there's dowel pins to help align all these together. Uh, since we don't have that, we got to be real careful about how we. Uh, stick this on here and have it all aligned as we, we put it down on our on our block. Take our cylinder head bolts. Take our 30 weight oil. Put 30 weight on the threads. Just as a, I'm just. Trying to be extra careful here to make sure that that is well aligned. Another bolt here. Uh, let's get this one started a little bit. Okay, we know that one started. I'm trying to move all this together, gasket and everything. Okay, that dropped down. All right. Now that should be. Yeah, gasket heads all moving together. And we can just go ahead and drop in our other cylinder head bolts. All right, we'll get our torque wrench set up and torque them. Okay, I uh, double check things both with our manual and uh, what's published on online manuals for these engines. Uh, it appears that it's uh, the first couple stages. The first stage is in uh, 40 uh, foot pounds and 60 foot pounds, and then we turn it a quarter turn past that. So, uh, shoot, this torque wrench doesn't go that low. So, I'm going to reset this one to the 60. And we're going to get the smaller torque wrench to do the first stage of 40. Okay, and the torque pattern is you start in the middle and you do this kind of uh, pattern where you work out from there. So 
now we go up to 60. There, that's on. Now we're gonna clean up our camshaft, stick that on with the lifters in it, and uh, uh, check the valve spring, our valve lash. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put all the lifters in, then we're gonna put our camshaft on, and we'll probably attach the front uh, sprocket so we can easily turn it and uh, get it the, um, uh, setting the valve lash. So I'm just taking a little assembly lube, putting a little oil on there, and sticking them in. These is the exact same order everything came out in, so if the lash was set correctly uh, 110,000 miles after it started running from the factory, then it's still correct, hopefully. Um, to change it, these are solid lifters, so you have to change out these little uh, plates at the top and so if we need to change it we got to take all the plates out find out how we can mix and match them and then stick it all back together would be a big pain so I'm really hoping uh, really hoping that all this is going to work out uh, just fine Okay, to check the uh, valve lash, what we need to do is we need to find uh, valves that where the uh, cam lobe is pointing straight up, so you're on the base circle of the cam. So we have an intake valve here, we have an exhaust valve here, and we're going to check to see what the clearances are. I can't stick a 20 thousandths of an inch under that one, so I'm going to go down. I have a 12, we'll try that. That's a little loose. So let's go with an 18, 18 won't fit, 16, 16 won't fit, 14, ooh, barely, 13, mm, it's probably, I'm going to call that one a 13, so this one's 13 thousandths, which is only one thousandths beyond the specification. Uh, this exhaust, the specification is, is I believe, 16 to 20 thousandths. So we'll start with a uh, 16. Fits just fine. We'll jump up to an 18. That doesn't fit. So the 17 barely fits. That feels just right. So this one's 17 thousandths, which is in spec. So we're going to go through, we're going to measure all that. Those that are out of spec, we're going to write it down and see what we can do to, um, uh, to correct that adjustment. We have to do that by taking lifters out and changing out these little uh, adjustment pads that are inside the lifter. Okay, to change the uh, valve lash settings, we have to change these disc out. And so I've measured all of them, and I believe if we swap these two discs, we'll be, we'll be dead on, because this one is a little uh, loose, and this one is a little tight and they're both off by the same amount. So if you stick this guy in there, you can pop this disc out, or you can see the disc, and it's basically the thickness of this disc sets the, the, la the lash. So we're gonna pop this one out, and we're gonna put this one over here, this one over there, and we're gonna put everything back together and check it. All right. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to plug these holes. These is where the uh, the injectors went. Uh, this the this engine was originally fuel injected and we're going to be running it carbureted for lemons, so we got to plug these holes. I have uh, 
plugs, threaded plugs that I got, and I've put uh, black silicone on there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to screw those in uh, with an impact so that they are good and tight.